What is external validity? Imagine this scenario. Let's say a lady is sitting on a park bench when a stranger walks by and catches her interest. She would like to make a good impression on him next time she sees him, so she decides to do some research. She surveys the next group of people she comes across to get opinions on how you make someone fall in love with you. The group of people she next comes across are some young children playing in the park. She asks them, how do you make someone fall in love with you? The first child says, well, what works for me is yelling out that you love them at the top of your lungs. The second child says, oh, I like to wear my superhero suit, that gets my friend's attention. The final boy says, give them some food they like, chips usually work for me. So the lady waits on the park bench at the same time the next day and sure enough, her love interest walks by again. She summons the wisdom of her survey group and approaches the man. It turns out the results of her survey weren't generalizable to her situation of interest. And this is what external validity is about. It is the extent to which the results of a study are generalizable to other situations or groups. The love struck lady's approach didn't go well as her survey was conducted on a sample that was very different from the target population. Good sampling is the key to a study having wide generalizability and good external validity. Here are some features of strong sampling in studies. Firstly, you should ensure a sample is representative of a wider population, or at least the population you want to generalize to. For example, let's say someone is conducting a phase one clinical trial to examine the safety of a new drug. If they only recruit male Caucasian university students from one hospital, their study will be less generalizable to the wider population and if they sampled from both genders across multiple ethnicities at multiple sites across the world. Secondly, a large enough group of individuals should be sampled to impart adequate statistical power. Thirdly, any exclusion criteria used in a study should relate to the question of interest. If the exclusion criteria are too strict, external validity will decrease.